an alloy contains zinc and copper in the ratio 5 is to 8 and there is another alloy which contains zinc and copper in the ratio of 5 is to 3. If equal amount of both the alloys are melted together then the ratio of zinc and copper in the resulting alloy is which one of the following four? Let's understand what this means. So basically it says that there is an, there are two alloys basically okay an alloy is basically something which contains a mixture of two or more compounds so it says that you know both of them have zinc and copper okay the ratio in the first alloy is 5 is to 8 for zinc and copper and the ratio in the second one is for zinc and copper is 5 is to 3 you need to be careful you know whenever you get these questions always notice that if it, this is zinc and copper even this is zinc and copper Many a times to confuse you, instead of zinc and copper, it could be copper and zinc, right? If equal amount of both the alloys are melted together, so what they are saying is that there is certain defined quantity. Now that quantity could be anything of alloy A, let's call this as alloy A and alloy B, which are melted together. And they're asking you if there is a third alloy or, you know, a third melted stuff which is prepared, what is the ratio of zinc and copper in that? For the sake of convenience, let's assume that we burn 1 kg of alloy here, or rather melt, and 1 kg of alloy B. Right? So if 1 kg of alloy A is melted, and 1 kg of alloy B is melted, then basically how much is the total zinc which is present in the melted alloy, which is 2 kg. So zinc in the first one will be how much 5 is to 8 or in other words 5 divided by 5 plus 8 into 1 kg right this is for a plus for b how much is zinc it is 5 divided by 5 plus 3 into 1 right or in other words the total quantity is how much 5 plus 8 gives you 13 so 5 upon 13 plus 5 upon 8 the LCM of these 13 and 8 will be 104, right? 8 times 5 is 40 plus 13 times 5 is 65 or 105 upon 104, right? Similarly, if you look for copper, although you know you can get some bit of a clue from here that 105 is zinc, right? Copper will be how much? It will be 8 by 13 into 1 plus 3 by 8 into 1 so 8 upon 13 plus 3 upon 8 again the LCM is 104 right 8 times 8 is 64 plus 3 times 13 is 39 so 103 upon 104 so the ratio of zinc and copper in the melted alloy is how much it's 105 by 104 is to 103 upon 104 since the denominators are common we can just remove them or the ratio is simply 105 is to 103 which is answer number D right so I've taken these explanation to detail out the case and understanding to you you can easily and simply use many other things thank you for being with us today